All right. Hello, I'm Emily Titchener, Director of University Transfer here at Tulsa Community College. I'm so glad you took a few uh, minutes out of your afternoon today to come and meet with us and learn more about Rogers State University. Um, this is our university, university Showcase Series. It's a great opportunity for you to learn more about um, regional universities that are a great option for you to transfer and complete your four-year degree. We know that thinking about uh, where to go and the steps to take to get to that four-year degree can sometimes be a lot. So we are here to support you and um, help you along that journey. So our university transfer office can serve as a great resource. We have a website at tulsacc.edu backslash transfer. I'll put that in the chat. Um, and we are here to support you throughout your, your journey. So you can always feel free to reach out to us with questions um, even after today. And I know our presenters here today from Rogers State will also be very happy to follow up with additional questions that you have even after this presentation. So the big thing that I always tell students is you can never ask too many questions when it comes to university transfer. So I want you to feel encouraged to do that as much as possible. Um, so again, I'm Emily Titchener. I'm gonna be here monitoring the chat throughout our program today. Um, but the primary presenters are our wonderful partners at Rogers. So I'm gonna hand it over to them in just a moment. One other thing I wanna let you know is that we are recording this session today. Um, so I will be recording the, all the primary beginning um, overview information about Rogers State and their presentation. And then I will stop the recording before we get to any specific questions that you might have about your university transfer experience. So again, feel free to put those in the chat or feel free to wait till the, after the main part of the presentation and ask them then. Um, you have a great group of uh, experts here from Rogers. So we hope to provide you all the information you would like to know today um, and options for follow-up. So thank you again for joining us. And uh, without any further ado, I'm gonna turn it over to Andrew, who is gonna be our um, initial presenter today. Well, thanks Emily, I sure appreciate you having this all set up for us. Uh, to you students, I'm thrilled to spend a few minutes with you guys today. And I'm glad that you guys hopped on to learn a little bit about RSU. Um, I have a presentation I'm going to go through, but really I want, to, I want it to be as relevant as possible to you. So I'm going to try to speak to you right where you're at. Uh, I'm actually an alumni from RSU. Uh, I spent four years here from 2016 to 2020. And so I'm not even a year out of graduating from my degree. I was a business major. I minored in Spanish. And so any questions that you have as far as will college prepare me for the workforce? Um, what does student debt look like? Um, how will this work out financially? Uh, and any questions you have, I'm your walking living example of that. So please ask questions with that. Um, blow, blow up the chat if you want to. At the end, we'll have a Q&A portion for all specific questions about transferring, uh, how do classes transfer? How do I figure out those things? Who do I talk to in departments? Um, any admissions questions, so we'll be happy to do that. But uh, I'm gonna share my screen here um, and we'll kind of go through. All right, well, obviously we are Rogers State University. Uh, here's our mission, I'll let you read it. I'm not quite smart enough to understand everything it's saying, but here's kind of how I would sum it up. Here at RCU, we want to set you up to succeed professionally and personally. No matter what your next step is, we want you to succeed in it. So uh, if that means you come here to wrap up, you know, your four year degree and then go on to graduate school, we want to set you up for that. We don't want you to be uh, kind of a deer in the headlights going into graduate school underprepared. We want you to be ready for that. If you're going to go straight into the workforce, be ready for that. Or if you're like me and you're, you aspire to be like a stay at home dad, you know, I mean, whatever it is, we want to prepare you for that. And I think you'll notice that uh, as I kind of talk through what makes RSU special, uh, and then, of course, if you do end up coming here, I think you'll notice that the, the faculty and the professors, they care about you uh, on a personal level as well, not just strictly academic and professionally. So uh, we'll start with the academics at RSU, uh, and then we'll talk a little bit about campus life, the possibility of living on campus, uh, and then we'll wrap up with talking about the finances because that's obviously an important conversation to have. So uh, here's the academics. Two important numbers to know. The first one is that our total student body is just over 3,000 students. So that's actually over all three of our campuses. Uh, we have a campus in Pryor, um, obviously here in Claremore, and then also one in Bartlesville. So over all three campuses, that's including all of our commuters and everyone living on campus, we're looking just over 3,000. That's fun to know, but the important number to know is the 19 to one student to faculty ratio. For example, I'm not included in that ratio. That is a professor to student ratio. So what does that mean? 
that means in each class you can expect on average to have about 19 students to the professor. Uh, my largest class I had was gen biology and I think I had like 34 students in it, maybe 36 students in it. Um, once I got into my major, I found the 19 was really accurate for, um, for my major, my experience. I had some that got down to closer to 12. And then specifically my minor program, my upper division classes had three and four students in it. So uh, it, it's an opportunity where you get to ask questions. If you want to talk to the professor, you can stay late uh, and engage with them during class. They'll know it when you're gone. You know, if you apply yourself at all, uh, they'll send an email and just say, hey, are you okay? Where are you at today if you were to miss class? Um, anyway, it's just a really cool opportunity to have a personal touch if you wanted it. Uh, my phone has several phone numbers from professors uh, that a couple of them are references for me and my resume. And so you get to know people. Uh, I had professors take us out to dinner, take us out to coffee. I had one when she told her car, she reached out to me for help to buy one. And so if you're looking for a personal environment, RSU is definitely a place where you can find it. So we'll talk about a few of the programs that can sometimes get a little dry. So I'll try to be as engaging as possible here. Uh, and here we go. One cool thing about RSU is it has a full powered uh, radio and TV station here on campus, which is awesome for students who want to get into anything uh, into the route of communication, presenting, speaking, working with radio and TV production. Uh, we have alumni and so many TV and radio stations in Northeast Oklahoma. Uh, the communication arts degrees are awesome. I did a little bit of that with my business degree. Um, and so prepares you for things like marketing, advertising, PR, uh, a lot of hands on experience uh, with this different things. All right, health sciences and biology. I know this is a popular one, so I might camp here just a little bit longer than the others. Uh, the health sciences, I would kind of divide into three categories. The first is the medical molecular biology. Uh, students on campus call it MedMolec because it's you know quite the mouthful. This is basically the pre-med track. So if you're gonna go do med school, this is the way to go. If you wanna be a chiropractor, uh, work in pharmacy, be a vet, um, this is your pre-med track. And so all of those things fall under the MedMolec. Um, obviously nursing, RSU is known this part of the state, uh, really the whole state for its nursing program and for good reason. Um, it, it is second to none. You can see there uh, the percentages there at the bottom, 96% pass rate on the NCLEX and a 98% job placement rate. I mean, those numbers are awesome. Uh, and by the way, it's also a, a pre-COVID number. And so 98% job placement might even be a little low considering what's going on right now, obviously with healthcare jobs on the rise. And so our nursing program is definitely something to be uh, looked at. And recently it got a little bit of an upgrade in Mark II, if you will, uh, where you'll be graduating with your BSN and RN at the same time. So that four year degree, that bachelor's of science of nursing uh, allows you to go on and get your master's if you wanted to do that work, or even just in the hospital allows you to kind of work as a lead nurse if you wanted to work uh, in a hospital. The third part of the health sciences and biology is the allied health sciences. So this fulfills the requirements for pre-occupational therapy, physical therapy, and athletic training. Um, oftentimes these degrees are going to you know, lead you into graduate work. Um, if that's the case, obviously it's going to prepare you for that. Um, just one fun fact for you is that we've worked really closely with OU to where our undergrad flows seamlessly into their graduate work. I got to talk with some staff from OU, kind of hear how all that makes sense and how that all works. And so it um, doesn't mean you have to go to OU um, after our undergrad to complete your graduate work, you can. And if you do, there's gonna be no wasted courses because sometimes you, know, you wonder if things are gonna transfer. Uh, it's all gonna prepare you to take care of all the prereqs going into their degree. All right, moving on to the sciences that are not necessarily medically related. Uh, we have environmental studies um, at RSU. One of the coolest things about this program and these programs that are kind of involved with this is that uh, we have a full nature reserve on campus. It's a massive area fenced in and it's got man, ponds back there, walking, hiking trails, uh, great hammocking spots. That's my personal use of it. Um, and a bunch of different labs for our sciences. So hands-on opportunities for students who are looking uh, to study the environment. And this even gets into uh, sociology and introduction to public policy with all of this. So uh, a mixture of you know, science, even getting into public policy. And um, this degree is awesome for people who don't wanna go the med route, but do have an interest in the sciences. All right, some of the arts. 
I love talking about the graphic design, not because it's uh, what I'm good at, but because I think it's one of the best resourced majors at RSU. Uh, in one of our buildings, Baird Hall here on Claremore campus, we have a 24 seven Mac lab uh, that's available for students uh, only for those graphic design majors. So it's a card swipe access room uh, that you have state of the art equipment to hone in on your craft and work on it 24 seven. I love the fact that we can offer that to our students. Uh, and then even more, all of the arts, um, they're basically all housed in Baird Hall. Uh, it's got a really awesome, what they call a dark room for photography. Basically, it's a space you walk in and then the wall kind of rotates around you and you go into this new room. It's just like completely controlled lighting so you can manipulate it. Uh, oh, sorry about that. So you can ma manipulate lighting uh, to kind of uh, have it do what you want there. Let me see if I can get this off my screen here. Andrew, I don't see anything on your screen. Okay, perfect. Sorry, something popped up on mine. It's not going away. Thanks, Addy. Um, but yeah, that's an awesome resource that we have for our students there. Uh, and then, of course, hands-on of drawing, painting, printmaking, photography, sculpture, uh, and the like. Keeping on going. This is a fun one to talk about. Uh, Esports. So this is a degree program that uh, not many students that I run into are looking for it. Uh, but when they find it, their eyes light up. At the very least, if your parents ever told you you can't go to college to play video games, you can go home tonight and tell them they were wrong. So RSU has the first ever esports uh, degree uh, in Oklahoma, an esports team. It's been so successful. They have a club now. You can participate as a student athlete, and it combines well with several different majors. And so this is going to prepare you for computer programming, um, software engineering, uh, web development, uh, cybersecurity degree. And so uh, this is a new degree that we've started just a few years ago. And they kind of handpicked classes from several different majors that prepare you really just to get into the field of esports. All right, more options. And there's a lot here. Um, starting from the left side, you've got the business options. That's what I did. Business administration is the degree. And you get hey, to Andrew, pick kind of, yeah. I'm not sure if I'm seeing the slide you're seeing. I'm still on graphic design. Oh. Did that move it? Not yet. Hold on, let me try this again. I'm not tech savvy, so I'm not sure how to help you there. Hold on, let me try this again real quick. It wouldn't be a real Zoom meeting without at least one. one All pickup. right. That's what I believe. <laughs> You're doing great, Andrew. That's all right. I believe in myself to get this back here. All right. All right, are we back there? Yes, we see business administration. Okay, good deal, that was fun. Well, I made it back. Now with a brief inter interruption, back to the business. Uh, I was talking about how you have, you get to pick a specialization within business. So business is obviously a massive world. Uh, and so you get to pick. What's most interesting to you? Uh, you can see the options there. I won't read them for you. I picked management because I felt like it was most general. Uh, and I like numbers, but not enough to do accounting. Um, you can get into the sports world with the sports management, uh, whether it's the sport business side of it or even like fitness management. Uh, community counseling. This one has, this degree is a special place in my heart for a couple of reasons. One, I just think it's such an admirable career. Um, two, if I had to go back and pick a different degree, I'd probably go the community counseling route. Uh, Three, the department is incredible. Like, you know, as a business major, I didn't work with them in the classroom, but I did attend uh, some of their seminars. I went to some of their uh, different events they had on campus. And I just can't speak highly enough of the professors and staff over there in the community counseling area. The other cool thing about it is that it's an undergrad. A lot of colleges, if you want to get into counseling or social work, therapy, that kind of a realm, they're going to have you do an undergrad in psychology or sociology. There's nothing wrong with that. That's a great way to get into the field. Uh, but it can also be a very broad study. So if you know you want to get into counseling, therapy, the like, you can start with an undergrad here at RSU, and that's going to, you'll still learn the psychology and the sociology, but it'll all be done within the context of community counseling. And like business, you get to pick a specialization. So if you have a passion for children, you can pick that one, or um, perhaps it's addictions, whatever it may be, you can pick your uh, specialization there. So awesome program. 
Uh, and by the way, just for all of these, I would totally recommend no matter what you're wanting to get into, I'd recommend calling the department, uh, send an email to someone there. Information for all of these departments is on rsu.edu. You can just search the major, search the department, and you'll find information. I recommend talking to someone, sending up an appointment with an advisor saying, hey, I'm considering talking or I'm, I'm considering taking your, your classes and your degree. Uh, what's the teaching emphasis? What can I learn here? I want to be a fill in the blank when I graduate. Will this prepare me for it? Have those conversations. Uh, and I think you're gonna learn a lot about it and be blown away. All right, the educations. Um, RSU is a great partnership with Cameron University. Um, they have an awesome education program over there. So we partner with them. Uh, you can take all their classes. You don't have to actually go to Cameron. You can do, take all their classes here at RSU. Um, and in the education route, we kind of have two options. The first one is your elementary education. The second is your secondary education. And this is specifically in social studies. Um, now you can teach other things after this degree. It's as simple as testing into a different subject area, but those are your education options. We partner through Cameron. All right, Justice Administration. This is a pretty cool one too. Um, we have a COP program. If you wanted to be a COP, um, RSU offers a four-year degree. And what's cool about that is that even right now, Tulsa PD, they require a four-year degree uh, and to be clean certified to be a COP. RSU offers that four-year degree. Uh, every town requires a four-year degree, but that may be something that's changing. And so it's good that we offer that now. Um, cyber investigation, pre-law. I've had several friends of mine uh, start at RSU for law school and then transfer to TU. I mean, that's just an awesome way to go because TU's law school is awesome, yes. Uh, but the first, you know, four years of your law school, a much more affordable option is likely a very wise choice to make. So uh, I have a buddy who's doing that now and he is studying for the bar. Wish him the best. Uh, social sciences, I kind of mentioned this a minute ago. Sociology, psychology, uh, those are two obviously awesome degrees. They work closely with the community counseling, uh, but they're a little bit more broad in their study. Uh, public affairs, uh, political science, I had a few friends get into this. That's a scary world for me, but hey, if it's for you, I've heard good things about the department. Um, I actually met one of the one of the professors in this department back when I was a junior in high school, and uh, he he'll still reach out to me. He's still on campus. We get to talk a little bit. So public administration, poli sci, uh, and then liberal arts, English, global humanities. Um, the English department is one that I got to work with pretty closely through an organization I was a part of, and so um, man, I, I particularly just from what I've seen. Their capstone is one of the coolest experiences that you could have about, uh, as an English major. So a lot of options there. Again, if you have any questions, drop them in the chat and we'll be sure to answer those uh, towards the end. All right, there's all the academics. Hopefully you got some information on if we offer your degree. Um, and now we're gonna kind of talk about the resources that we have for you. Cause it's one thing just to get admitted into a program the next thing is, okay, what resources are available to me? Because it's important that you have those at whatever college you choose to attend. Uh, I would start with the tutoring services. College is hard and that's a good thing because you're gonna grow and you're gonna learn, but you need help. And RSU offers free tutoring to all students. Every major, every class, there's tutoring available for you. Um, you can do it in person. Uh, obviously you can do it via Zoom. You can do it via phone call these days. Uh, they've really been good at adapting to offer tutoring no matter how it is. Uh, and, and you would know who that is whenever you're in your major. Your professors know who they're working with as their tutors. And so if you're struggling with the course, uh, you have that available. I worked as a Spanish tutor for a year and I loved it. I got to help teach students Spanish, help them in some cases just pass and get the requirement. In some cases, I got to help them dive a little bit deeper if it was their passion. Um, and so I can't talk highly enough about that. The other thing that's important to hit on is that on all three of our campuses, we have 24 seven uh, computer labs. And so you don't need a personal computer to uh, complete college. You can do all of your work on our computer labs. They're accessible. There's multiple places on the Claremore campus with printing access. Um, at the library, you can go find a lot of your textbooks if you just want to go open them up. And so uh, access to you there is incredible. Personal and professional development. Uh, the first one is the career services. Just as advice from someone who just graduated less than a year ago, get plugged in with our career services team. Uh, because these people are going to help you in, in ways that you wouldn't necessarily learn in the classroom. They're going to help you with mock interviews. They're going to help you look over your resume. If you would need professional dress for an interview, they're going to have that prepared for you. 
They're going to know the connections for internships. If you need an internship to complete your degree, um, they're going to have connections outside of RSU for the job force. And so get to know the people at Career Services. Um, they're putting on events regularly for mock interviews and the like. So that's incredible. The other thing on that that I am thrilled that we're able to offer as a university is our counseling center. Uh, we have a counselor full time on campus. Her job is to meet with students who need counseling, and it is a free service to students as well. Um, counseling can obviously be sometimes unobtainable because of the price tag to it. And here at RC, that's not acceptable. We want our students to have access to counseling, uh, whether it's as simple as, hey, I'm just having a struggle with time management and I'm not getting enough sleep. Can you help? To there's something really going on in my life. Can I help? And so we have an awesome counselor. Her name is Nikki Phillips, and she is available and ready to meet with students. Um, anyway, that is just so close to my heart. So uh, there's that for you. Health and fitness, uh, as I'm sure you may have realized, leaving high school sports uh, or if you're going to here shortly, it's different. You know, I mean, I was a runner in high school, you know, running so much. And then all of a sudden I was done. It was like, wait a minute, I can't eat as much as I want anymore. And so there's going to be an adjustment. Uh, thankfully that, you know, we have a few things or a few resources at RSU to help you through that transition and hopefully avoid the pressure of 15. If you do, it's okay. You can get over it. You know, you can get, you can recover. Uh, the first one that's really cool is the health center. Uh, one of the weirdest things I remember was living on campus and not having mom when I was sick. And I was just like malfunctioning. I had no idea what to do. So I just malfunctioned. I, I didn't remember that RSU has a health center. And so if you need to get checked out, you don't know what's going on on campus. We have a, we have a clinic here. We partner with Utica Park Clinic and you can go in there and get and get um, checked out, get what you need, uh, at least find out what's wrong with you. That's kind of like an urgent care kind of idea. And so that's on campus available for students. Uh, we have a partnership with the Claymore Rec Center. They give a discount to students who want to go there and work out. Uh, it's got a full track, basketball courts, indoor pool, cardio area, uh, weight room. They have like a spin class. They have tennis back there, ton of stuff, and it's discounted rate for students. Um, and then I'll hit on it in a second, but there's lots of in intramural sports, which is where you would have found me a long time ago. All right, internships and studying abroad. Studying abroad is the next slide. I would talk about these in tandem. Uh, I'll talk about them in tandem because these two things, they kind of add depth, if you will, to a resume. Not that a resume is everything, but it does add depth to it. Uh, you know, if I see a degree uh, that you have, that's awesome. And if I see an internship or work experience along with it, wow, that's great. And so internships and studying abroad opportunities are things that I would just personally recommend that you do. Uh, it was back in 2017, I spent a summer in Panama in a little town of 10,000 and I lived with the host family and I had classes from one to five every day with a lady who didn't speak any English. And it was that month that my Spanish progressed so much. And so I highly, highly recommend it whether it's a summer internship, an internship you do through a semester, um, or even something like a job shadow. Those things can help you kind of discover uh, what you wanna do and, it, and really solidify what you wanna do as well. So RSU has partnerships. You can see some of those logos there on the screen, but we have partnerships with a lot of different organizations uh, locally and uh, some globally that you can get a part of. Sending abroad, if you're curious, uh, I've had friends, I mentioned Panama, but I've had friends go to Italy, Germany, France, Spain, Morocco, Mexico, I mean, all over. And so there are options available to you. All right, campus activities. Uh, getting involved on campus, what does that look like? Uh, well, first off, I think it's one of the most important things that you can do. Uh, and there's lots of ways to get involved. There's lots of ways to get plugged in and we want to help you do it because sometimes it can be difficult because it's a new place, it's new people, it's a new environment and we get that. And so we have an amazing team that is creating events, creating opportunities for you, for you to get to know people around you, for you to get to know the area. Um, and there's lots of ways to do it. The first way to do it uh, is kind of through Welcome Week. This is something that happens every single year. You get to see all the different clubs and organizations. They all come out and you can see kind of everything that RSU has to offer in terms of a club or a group or an organization. I'll hit on that in just a second. Uh, but there's fun stuff all throughout the year. Obviously with COVID, some of these events have gone virtual, you know, but everything that we're doing, we're keeping them in person as much as we can safely. Um, but of course we have homecoming. Uh, we have a, a week in the spring before spring break. That's kind of like a, a week long, just lots of stuff going on to help you finish through your midterms. Um, MLK week of service. That's a fun one that I got to participate in for a few years. It was just rescheduled, uh, but we get to participate in that. 
intramural sports. This is for the has-beens. I'm one of them. Uh, and so this is where I found out that I missed my calling in life. I should have been a professional sand volleyball player. I had no idea until I came to RSU. So anyway, uh, intramural sports are a lot of fun. It's a good opportunity just to get out there and exercise. If it's not your thing, you can be a ref. My roommate for a couple of years, he was the ref for everything. And he just wore the black and white stripes and blew the whistle, tossing people out. Anyway, I don't, I don't know if it got that far, but it was it was fun nevertheless. Lots of opportunities, flag football, basketball, soccer, sand volleyball. And that list is growing, by the way. All those weren't available when I was a freshman. Um, and so that list is growing and can grow readily. Uh, we're also NCAA Division II sports. And so you can see the list of sports there. I won't read it, but um, access to all of the different games are free for students. So you can always go support the soccer team, which is a baseball's throw from some of our apartment complexes on campus. And you walk by it to class all the time. So you'll see the soccer team working. Uh, you'll see cross country and track running like crazy. You know, you'll go to class, they're running by you. You leave class, they're still running, you know, and I'm just feeling bad for them. But anyway, uh, sports are a way to get involved as well. All right, student organizations. Uh, this slide is a little bit busy. It's meant to be busy. Uh, don't, feel, <laughs> don't feel like you have to read everything. I have it listed out like this to show you that there are a ton of student organizations. This list is nowhere near exhaustive though. Uh, this is just to show you there are organizations for seemingly everything you, you could want to get involved in. First, major related. Okay, I'm gonna be a nursing major. How do I meet people that are also nursing majors? Obviously there's class, but two, you can find uh, a, a group of nursing majors that they say, hey, we're just gonna meet in the OMA lounge on Tuesday nights and have time to study together, ask questions, learn together, help find ways to study and um, you know, effectively learn what we're going through. Uh, I was a part of a business organization for a few years. Um, and then we have diversity related groups. Um, one that I'm excited about that just started up is Brothers and Sisters. You'd have to learn about that one if you come on campus. Um, campus involvement. There's a lot of community service ones. One of my buddies started the recycling club a few years ago. Uh, and then outside interest. Uh, there's, there's so many of the name and they're just a bunch of cool stories. The bass fishing team started as a fun club and now they're competing across the nation and winning trophies. Uh, last year, I almost started a yoga club, then realized I didn't know how to do yoga, so it failed quickly. But all that to say, there are ways to get involved. You'll see these student organizations at Welcome Week. Uh, and if there was one that you wanted to start, it's as simple as you and three friends going through the paperwork at SGA, and then you're official. You can get flyers out and kind of build your group, build your community for whatever you want it to be. All right, I'll talk about living on campus because I think it's a really good option. Um, and I'll preface it by saying this, I'm going to undersell all the housing I see on campus by saying it's the best I've ever seen. And that's the only thing I'll say about it in general terms. From here, I would just encourage you, if living on campus is something you would consider, visit campus. Visit campus, tour the housing, and I'll, I'm convinced that you would become a microphone for me. I'm convinced you would tell other people about how amazing the housing is, because it is. Um, it's just awesome. So. Uh, as a freshman, if your academic standing were to be a freshman coming in, you'd have the opportunity to live in UBC, which is our freshman only housing. This is more traditional in the sense that you have an actual roommate who you share a room with, but it's not traditional in the fact that it's got like nasty carpets or cinder block walls. Uh, it's got big 10 foot ceilings, nice hardwood floors, hard uh, uh, sheetrock walls. It's going to come with two big closets, a vanity in your room for washing your face, brushing your teeth, a microwave and a fridge. And then in that building, you don't have to go anywhere. You've got a full kitchen that you can use when you need to, uh, a laundry room to take your things to, and then a big game room, study rooms on every corner, uh, and then a lounge on every floor. And so that's UBC. Sophomore and up, you get to pick between two different housing units. And I've lived in all three buildings, by the way. Um, once you're a sophomore and up, you get to pick between a two bedroom apartment or a four bedroom apartment. There is some private housing as well available if you wanted to just have a one bedroom that is an option. But if you have a roommate or a few friends, you can live in uh, what they call UVA or UVB. These are two bedroom and four bedroom apartments. In both cases, you have a bedroom with a door that shuts and locks and you keep all the craziness outside and you're studying inside. Um, and you're gonna share a bathroom with just one person. And then you'll have a kitchen and a living room with your other roommates. And so again, I think the housing is awesome. In my own personal search back in 2014, 15, that time, it was the best that I came across uh, personally. If you find better, please let me know. I would love to see it. But anyway, there's the housing. All right, eating on campus, 
because it is a necessity of life. Uh, there's a couple different options that are always solid you can do. Um, if you live on campus, you'll have a meal plan. If you're a commuter, there's a commuter plan you can get, um, or you can just roll up a couple times with uh, your credit card if you wanted to. But there's two options. There's the Chapman Dining Hall, which is a buffet option. Uh, and that's kind of like a swipe on your meal plan. You can go in, eat food, study and talk, get more food, and then, you know, leave 10 pounds heavier than you came. And so that's a great option. I did that a few times when I had some studying to do, but didn't have food in my apartment because I hadn't gone grocery shopping in a while. I'd eat, study, eat some more. The other option is the Hillcat Hut Cafe. Uh, this is like an ordering from a menu style. So you can go and get a burger and fries or a chicken wrap and a side salad. You can get yogurt, fruit smoothies. Uh, and also right next to that cafe is a place where you can get some Starbucks coffee. So if you're not a Starbucks fan now or a coffee fan now, I'm sure you will be uh, within a few years of where you're going like I am. I've got black coffee on tap all day. So um, there's the food options. The city of Claremore is growing. My freshman year, there wasn't Chick-fil-A in hindsight. I don't know how I made it, but there is now. And it's a growing community. Um, you can see a lot of different things here. Uh, one of my favorite are talking about the coffee shops. I think there's two new coffee shops that have come just this school year which is really cool. Um, but the downtown Claremore area is really neat to go to. Food Truck Thursday is one of my favorite things. Uh, Wildflower Bakery or Baking Company. I didn't actually go there until I graduated. Really cute bake shop. Um, Jay Farley's Pub is a fun place to go uh, for trivia and they have bingo and karaoke nights and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, and then there's the Claremore Lake, which is a great place to go. They've got biking trails, hiking trails, disc golf, the actual lake itself. So lots to do, lots to do in Claremore. Um, distance to Tulsa, if you're going to downtown Tulsa, you're probably looking at 35 to 45 minutes, depending on where you're going. Um, Owasso, 20 to 30, depending on where you're going in Owasso. Uh, and so that's kind of your distance that you're looking at from Claremore. All right, financial aid. I'll talk about it because it's important to talk about. Um, you know, I remember whenever I was thinking about college, whenever numbers were in front of me with money, I immediately got stressed out. And so number one, I just recognize that that's possibly what you're feeling with finances. So hopefully as I discuss this, my goal is just that you get clarity, okay? That you get a little bit of confidence to know college is affordable, college is possible, um, and it, it can prepare me for the next step well. So uh, here's a couple important numbers for you to know. More than 80% of our students who apply for financial aid receive it, as to say you're probably going to receive it. But the important number on the right is 50%. One in two students who graduate at RSU do it debt free. And I haven't really seen that anywhere else. And you'll, you'll see why in a second. I'll show you a cost breakdown of what RSU looks like uh, as far as the cost. But here's the other cool thing. What about that one student that does graduate with debt? Well, per capita, so student to debt ratio at RSU is far below the national average. So each student that is graduating with debt is graduating with far less debt than a lot of our you know, neighbors uh, around the country. So anyway, here's a cost breakdown for you. It'll be helpful. All right, I've just split up two ways, on-campus living and off-campus living. Both are awesome options. It depends on what you're looking for. Uh, for both of these options, this is estimated as, as if you were gonna take 15 credit hours. And so uh, the on-campus option is covering tuition, fees, living on campus, eating on campus, books, and supplies, as to say, everything that you need, okay? And you see the approximation there is just under $9,000 a semester, just under $18,000 a year. If you were to commute to our campus, um, you can see down there below, the only thing that I took out was the living and eating on campus is now at home, and your estimation is just over $5,000 a semester, just over 10,000 a year, okay? And so those are kind of your options right there. Uh, the numbers might be, just a shade high for some majors based on the books. Um, I found that my books weren't as high as we estimated, especially if you're crafty and you can go find them different places. Um, and so that's something to consider, but uh, it, it shouldn't be much higher than that. And some majors will have a little bit more book heavy costs. And so you, you can be comfortable knowing that this, is, this, is, this isn't gonna be any higher than this. And scholarships. Here's an exciting thing to talk about. If you have any questions about this, please ask here at the end. We're almost there, by the way. Uh, a couple of main scholarships uh, for our transfer students is RSU Connect. Uh, that's $1,250 a year uh, for three years. You have a, a 3.0 is the GPA requirement. 
Uh, and this is something offered if you have 24 plus hours at time of enrollment. Um, and then our spring start, it's kind of self-explanatory, but it's $500 for one semester uh, for an incoming spring student uh, with a GPA requirement of 2.75. So there's a quick hit on the scholarships. If you have any questions about that, feel free to ask at the end. Uh, but first, the next steps that I have for you, I've already mentioned one of them, which is visiting campus. I would absolutely recommend visiting campus. Uh, for me, I decided to come to RSU when I got here. When I was actually on campus, I got to visit a tour and I had scheduled a meeting with an advisor in the business department to actually sit down and look at the degree, talk through how I was gonna prepare me. So I'd recommend visit campus. Easiest way to do that is rsu.edu. You'll see the tab, it's red. Uh, it says visit campus. And from there, you can find a time to schedule it. Um, Addison, who's on this call, is incredible. She will host you. She's so hospitable. Um, and she'll get take care of you every single step of the way. Um, the other thing that I would recommend is to apply. Apply to RSU if you haven't already. Um, we've removed our application fee because why should you pay to submit an application? Uh, there's no essays on our application. Um, and then if you have... Uh, college transcripts and high school transcript, a ACT scores, all those different things. That's more case by case if you need to send it to us or not. So we can answer those questions specifically if you'll reach out to us, um, the FAFSA. And then any and all questions, uh, you can contact Kay or, you know, really myself, but Kay especially. And there's her email there. Uh, she has waved in the back. So uh, at this time, I think I've talked to enough, surely enough. Uh, so do we have any questions from anyone? I just want to say thank you so much for um, that wonderful presentation. Um, it, I definitely want to come play sand volleyball at RSU now. <laughs> so um, it's really a great overview of, of everything um, our students would need to know. Uh, so at this point, I will stop our recording so we can take any questions from our students. And uh, you've got some great experts here on the call. So, uh, you know, feel free to put questions in the chat or to just go ahead and um, ask them. And I want to thank RSU again so much for being here today. So stopping the recording. Awesome.